when I've handled myself with courage, and I hoped I would. And then I also remember thinking and feeling just how angry and resolved and determined we were, and that I was, that we needed to crush this enemy who attacked our country the way they did, and those who helped facilitate those attacks. And we need, we need to keep that determination. And also, as I look back, I think we need to remember what we saw that day. We saw the very worst of humanity, the depravity at its worst. But we also saw the very best of those first responders who rushed up those burning buildings and gave their lives. 411 of them, in fact, died trying to save other people. And those crew members and those passengers who fought to get control of that jet and stopped that jet from hitting the, the Washington, our Capitol building in Washington, D.C. The very best. Now, I've been asked to speak about patriotism today, and I've been reflecting on it since Amy asked. And I think patriotism manifests itself in three ways. First, I believe patriotism and patriots are grateful for the country that we live in. We live in the greatest country ever. We have freedoms. We have the freedoms that are trying to those Bill of Rights. Our founders knew and believed that we were born to be free. The government was there to help protect those freedoms. We will live, live with prosperity and opportunity unheard of. The richest country since 1879, and we surpassed Great Britain. The most powerful country in the world since World War II. No other country has alleviated poverty and spread freedom and human dignity like this country. Just take a look at all over the world, and places all over. Just Korea, for example. Look at a satellite picture of the Korean Peninsula at night. North Korea is pitch black with maybe a little speck of light in Pyongyang. It reflects the tyranny and the darkness in society where a, a tyrant can just kill people by the word of his mouth. And then you look at South Korea. It's a little like a Christmas tree at night from the satellite photos. North to south, east to west. A vibrant economy with freedom. The average South Korean was 10 years longer than the average North Korean. It was three inches taller. But Americans, and America is largely responsible for this success. Just one example. A second way that I think patriotism manifests itself is that we honor and we venerate those who made it possible. We just didn't get this free country the way it is today. People died for it, they fought for it, they showed moral courage to make it happen. 1.3 million Americans wearing the uniform died in battle so that we could be here today. We've had first responders give their life. And we've had so many individuals who showed moral courage and gave their life for this country so that we have what we have today. Abraham Lincoln led us through the Civil War, who puts the stench of slavery behind us. George Washington, who lost more battles than he won, but he won the last battle at Yorktown. That counted most. But he also was so key to get our Constitution passed. And after two terms, he stepped down willingly, showing how we have peaceful transfer of power. A great example of our country until now and for the rest of the world. Martin Luther King, who showed us civil disobedience and do it in a peaceful way, that talked about the evil of segregation and the separate but equal, and that helped us get past that. And he gave his life. He helped us to see that we could better reach that dream of the Declaration of Independence, that all men are created equal and are endowed by their creator with certain and with inalienable rights. Susan B. Anthony, who fought, who contended against slavery, but then after that, made woman suffrage her, her focus. The 19th Amendment today is known as the Susan B. Anthony Amendment. We can go on and on. Today, our country is great because people have moral courage to stand up and make a difference. And they should, be, they should inspire us to do the same. That we can make a difference to make our country stronger. The third way I think patriotism manifests itself is through service and giving back. Every one of us have talents. And we have skills that we can give back. And there's gaps, there's shortfalls in our communities and our country that you are tailored made to fix. Some people are made to serve in the military. Some are made, meant to be first responders. Others are meant to serve in the city councils, the county commissioners, 
our school boards, and so forth. Others are meant to lead Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, or run our Salvation Army so that we can help those who are less fortunate. Our country leads the world in volunteerism, civic engagement. No other country volunteers like we do. In recent years, it's gone down somewhat. But we can't lose this trait that makes us unique and special and strong. You know, Alexis de Tocqueville traveled here roughly 180 years ago, roughly. And he wanted to see what made America strong. He thought it probably came from Washington, D.C., because that's why it was in France, where he came from, where Paris was the center of all the decisions. So he traveled here, and he expected to see that strength in Washington. And lo and behold, he didn't find it came from Washington, D.C., and we know that that's still true today. He found it when he traveled to the communities in North and South, all over our country. He said it was the people, the citizens banding together to fix problems on the spot. Civic engagement, community partnerships, churches, and that it made us special. Now, six years ago, there was a study done. And the study was a bunch of PhDs. They wanted to see how many people that ever lived on this planet lived in freedom. And they came to the conclusion after research that all of history was about 5%. 5%. 1 in 20. Ladies and gentlemen, think about it. We've only known freedom. And it's easy to take it for granted. But yet, in our world, only 1 in 20 have ever had freedom. It's precious. It's rare. It's fragile. We must contend for it. We've got to contend for it overseas. We've got to contend for it here at home with our engagement. So on 9-11, I think back on patriotism, we saw some great examples of it. Those first responders ran up those smoking buildings, those buildings on fire, gave their all. And those passengers, that crew that fought back that jet, those famous words before they charged the cockpit was, let's roll. Those words have inspired me for the last 15 years. So today, as I summarize, Patriotism is about being grateful, thankful to our great Lord for the privilege of living here. It's about remembering those who gave us this great country and fought for it and died for it. And it's about giving back, giving your skills, your capabilities. It's about finding where the shortfalls are at and then saying, let's roll. Let's get it done. Thank you.